Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. Today we'll be creating an office layout using eDraw Max. Let's begin with understanding what an office layout is. An office layout is used to depict the design of an office, which will include things like all of the different rooms, tables, chairs, exits, and even some notable decor. Now let's learn how to design an office layout in eDraw Max. First, navigate to File, click on New, and select the Building Plan category. Then choose Office Layout from the subcategories. There you'll find a series of office layout templates to draw. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. In the symbol library, you'll see built-in symbols related to floor plans, from which I'm going to select doors and windows, bathroom, building core, cabinets and bookcases, garden, sofas, tables and chair symbols for this video. So let's get going with our floor plan by dragging a shape from the wall, shell and structure stencil onto the drawing page. You can resize the shapes by dragging the selection handle. Here I'm starting with the outer walls of the roof and rest area and the exit block, which are adjacent to each other. Now let's subsequently draw walls for the archives and logistics service rooms. Next, continue with outer walls for meeting rooms and working areas of the office layout. followed by the bathroom or toilet rooms of the layout plan. Let's draw the walls of the manager's office and the financial department area, followed by reception and storage rooms. After completing the outer walls of the floor plan, Navigate to Tools and select Center to move all the shapes to the center of the drawing page. Now I'm going to add all the required shapes and symbols inside the rooms to complete the layout plan. To start from the garden list, drag and drop the framed flower bed to the roof and rest area. Followed by some lounge chairs. Now let's add doors to the walls from the doors and windows list. Select and drag the door shape of your choice onto the drawing area and place it where you need. Another easy way to find the required symbols from the library is to enter the symbol's name in the search tab as shown. Drag and drop the sofas from the library. That completes the archives room. A wide variety of cubicles are available in the office furniture list. Select and place as needed, followed by office equipment like printers, Xerox machines, TVs, computer tables, etc. in the logistics service area. Now we'll organize the meeting hall by placing the multi-seat tables. Based on the number of employees, add cubicles to the working area from the office furniture library. Doors and dustbins can be placed around the layout as needed.
With separate male and female bathrooms, let's drag and drop the necessary fixtures like sinks, toilets, etc. onto the area. Now let's add elevators and staircases. For storage purposes, this storage room can be utilized as needed. I'm adding sofas, tables, and chairs to the reception area now. Moving on to the finance department, cubicles can be placed as needed. In the manager's office, I'll place some sofas and a manager's table and chair. Now, I'll drag and drop a spiral staircase at the exit. Zoom out to have a preview of the whole plan. Navigate to view and deselect the grid lines. Right-click to fit the drawing on the page. Navigate to and click on the current page icon to view the office layout and presentation mode. Now let's see a few examples of office layouts available in eDraw Max. Similarly, eDraw Max has plenty of diagram examples for you to use as a resource. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more floor plan videos.